If a magnetic field exists in a region, and a moving electric charge enters that region, that electric charge will experience a force according to this equation. The force exerted by a magnetic field on a moving electric charge is proportional to the magnitude of the charge, Q, and the cross product of the charge's velocity, U, with the magnetic flux density, B. Consider this for a moment. The cross product of parallel vectors is zero. That means that if the charge is moving in the same direction as the magnetic field, it will not experience a force due to that magnetic field. The magnetic force is maximized when the charge is moving perpendicularly to the field. Remember, charge will also experience a force when it is in the presence of an electric field. The equation for electromotive force is F equals QE. So the total force on a charged particle, taking into account the possible presence of both electric and magnetic fields, is equal to Q times the sum of E and U cross B. This is the Lorentz force law. Recall, an ampere is equal to a coulomb per second, so the QU term in the equation for magnetomotive force may be restated as the product of current times length. Then we can express the force on a differential current element in the presence of a magnetic field as df equals i times dl cross b.